Hey, Kate, welcome to the show. Hi, thanks for having me. Thanks for being here. If you could tell us a little bit about your backstory and what was your life like before you started your journey to improve your health? Well, uh, my backstory is that I grew up uh, having some significant health problems from about the age of 10 on. I had ulcerative colitis, which left me with a distended belly, and it also left me with feeling that I was fat all the time. And so from there, it kind of went into a life of disordered eating. And um, by the time I was 34, I was obese. And I had um, five, I would say five or six major illnesses that I kept bouncing back and forth between. And uh, I was a successful actress and you know, performing as Mrs. Claus for Radio City Christmas Spectacular and on Broadway. But I was fairly miserable. And um, you know, struggling to get through every show. And uh, it became really more cumbersome than I wanted it to be. And so I started to look into what would happen if I got better. And so how did this extra weight negatively impact your, your professional and your personal life? Well, my joints especially took a hit because, um, you know, as a, as a Broadway performer, you have to dance. It doesn't matter what size you are. Everybody up there is dancing to some degree. Mm -hmm. And the stages are often not um, what we call sprung stages where you have give when you land. And in fact, some of them are steel. So um, in the terms of Radio City Music Hall, that's a steel stage. So when you dance on it, your knees and your hips and your ankles take an enormous amount of strain, even with without extra weight, but with 100 extra pounds, it was even worse. So I was constantly having joint problems. I had plantar fasciitis. Um, I would get up in the morning and I, I would sort of, you know, not want to start walking because it hurts badly. Mm -hmm. And so what was your tipping point when you you were just like, I had enough of this? Well, there were a couple of uh, things. That, one of them was I was doing Pajama Game on Broadway with Harry Connick Jr. And um, we had a, a number in the second act called Hernando's Hideaway, which was one of the most enjoyable experiences I've ever had on stage because Harry played a different dance solo every night on that piano, a different improv solo. And, and just it was a great cast and the audience would just cheer for 10 minutes afterwards. I mean, what it seemed like. And, and I could barely get through the number. Um, without hyperventilating because I had so much weight. And so I wasn't even enjoying what was my profession anymore. And then coupled with my youngest stepson came to visit, and he was pretty young at the time, but putting on some weight. And we went to the playground to play, and he asked me to demonstrate how to work the monkey bars, and uh, I couldn't. Mm -hmm. And that was a real wake-up call for me because I'd been a gymnast. I had been very active as a kid. Um, I had played on the monkey bars every day of my childhood, you know, elementary school career, and I couldn't get more than three rungs. And so how much did you weigh when you got started? 225 pounds is the top that I ever saw on the scale. I would imagine it went higher than that, but at a certain point I stopped weighing myself. Mm -hmm. And so now that you had that extra weight, you had your tipping point, what did you do to get started? Well, I had done every diet on the planet, and I mean every diet. Um, mm -hmm. And, I, and I, I had lost weight with all of them and regained weight with all of them. And I just decided I didn't want to go that route. Then I saw Dr. Oz on the Oprah show and he was talking about five things that you just shouldn't eat because you can't digest them. And that started a whole inquiry in my mind about, huh, what is food and what isn't food? And what does it mean when you can't digest it? Where does it go? And so I started to investigate what happened if I took one thing out of my diet. And so I started with high fructose corn syrup. And I took that out of my diet and I noticed that I stopped uh, waking up in the middle of the night every night. And so then I, I took out enriched flowers and I noticed that my skin stopped itching. And there were all just every additive that I took out, I would notice something was better. Mm -hmm. And so I just kept going about that way and also looking at how much food I was really ingesting because I had become like a lot of Americans, you know, when you're served a lot of restaurant food, you just don't think about the size of that portion. Mm -hmm. And my portion sense had become really distorted. And so I had to yank that back too. And so did you experience any setbacks along the way? Oh my goodness. Yes. Um, after about the first 50 pounds, uh, it was, it was difficult to stay 
in the the realm of eating, you know, really what I call whole foods, just because nobody around me was doing it. You know, I was making all these changes, but my family really wasn't, and my friends really hadn't, and um, and so you know, I sort of plateaued for a very long time and thought maybe I would just kind of stay in the mid range forever, um, which was frustrating, but. Uh, at the same time, I had been dangled a, the role of the dream, you know, the lifetime role that I always wanted to play, which was Ava Perone and Evita. And so that helped me to kind of push through that plateau. But then there were other things like lifelong friendships ended. And I think, you know, looking back on it, it was just that I didn't know how to take care of myself and I didn't know how to take care of friendships and I didn't know how to just kind of, I don't know, um, take care of the big picture, I think is what it was. And so my life kind of needed to simplify a bit, um, in order for me to be able to hold on to the weight loss and to be able to really truly overcome my fight with obesity, um, and not be one of the 98% that gains it back. Now you mentioned that your, your friends and family weren't exactly, uh, the healthiest either. How did you really push through not having maybe people alongside with you doing the same thing? 